glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Sooners have shown few signs of weakness lately. They are exuding confidence in everything they do. String together a few W's, that's exactly what happens. We'll see if they can keep it up. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Kansas State is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. Taken from the three-yard line. At the 30. Brought down at the 37. Oklahoma's coaching staff, the fans, I think everybody's been waiting to see this kid play, and here he is. Well, he's a star quarterback. He seems to bring everything to the table. The crowd, I think, senses he's ready to have a big day. And when your star quarterback feels good playing at home and he gets off to a good start, some big things can happen for this Hall of Fame. Short over the middle. Tackle made at the 39. Holmes is in a running here for a prestigious award, Herbie, but he doesn't want to think about that right now. He's got to stay focused and keep the task at hand in front of him, and that's winning the ball game. Looking for his man, incomplete. It's third and eight. Ball on the 39-yard line. at the 43-yard line. Good possession there for the defense. The defense is going to head to the sideline with a real sense of accomplishment, knowing that they've just shut this offense down. Brown is waiting for the snap. And he's tackled at the 33. When he made the decision to return the ball, I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run. But boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, he got something out of it. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Off play action. Now he's on the move. And he has it on the corner. No one open, so he's going to run. They'll bring him down at the 43. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. First down. From the 43-yard line, first down. And he's level at the 41. That makes it second and eight. Screen pass and down he goes to the 38 yard line. It's third and five. Ball on the 38. Here's the halfback on the screen and he's tackled in the open field.
He steps up. Strike to his receiver, no good. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. They come out in a five-wide set. Swings it out there incomplete. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. And the coach is talking to his quarterback after that quick three and out. He missed on all his passes and really seemed out of sync with his receiver. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. Upshaw fields at the 29. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. The Sooners really took care of business on defense that first time out, Perfect. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Down at the 40. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays. But if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. From their own 40-yard line. Second down. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle at about the 43-yard line. the 42. Boy, when you can rely on your tight end to move the chains, you got a big-time advantage over any defense. From the 42-yard line, it's first down. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. And he's tackled at the 40-yard line. So we're looking at another third down here. He's going to try and scramble. He's at the 30. The ball is loose. And no one can get it. It bounces out of bounds. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. Throws and it's incomplete. Number 86 is the intended receiver on the way. This is the eighth play of this drive. He scrambled. Runs with it, and he's got room. He's taken down at the 13-yard line. 
That makes it first and ten. ten. We've played one quarter. Still no score. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. And they make the stop around the four-yard line. That's good for a game in two yards. That brings up second and one. And this is the tenth play of the drive. The Wildcats quarterback down there on the sideline, and, and Kirk, you and I talked to him earlier this week, and he is really the main cog in this offense. Doesn't look like he's that much. Touchdown, K-State! That option was so smoothly executed. He looked totally in control on that keeper. He makes the PAT. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Let's take a look at Lovett. The Red Raiders unleash their aerial assault and find Pater for a touchdown. Texas Tech leads it 14-7. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Gatewood from the 6. He's out to the 30. And down he goes at the 29-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He gets to about the 41-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. Incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open, and everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it, and you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball, and it was incomplete. Diving for extra yardage. makes a poor decision throwing into coverage. Needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. From the 24-yard line, second down. Tackled after a decent pickup. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Upshaw fields at the goal line. He makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line. It's 
In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Kansas State is up four. Here's an opening. Makes it to the 37. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. From their own 37-yard line. First down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. One yard loss for the halfback. From their own 36 yard line. Third down. He lets it fly. That's a great tackle at the 20 yard line. That's good for being able to First down. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. Kansas State is up by four. the corner gains his way to the 13 yard line that's good for a of eight yards that makes it third and three they need about three yards to get the first down here on third down and a quick throw what a play and that is first and goal that's good decision-making there and mechanics by the quarterback. He knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but he looked off the other receivers first. And this play is number eight on the drive. Touchdown, Wildcats! That's a great job with some tough running right there. When you get close to the end zone, things get very tight, and it's tough to maneuver. And he adds the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? All right, let's check in on some games with major BCS implications. And for Nebraska, they can win their ninth game of the year today. And for William, he's got a rushing touchdown in this one. Nebraska on top, 14-10, early in the second quarter. And for Oklahoma, well, they'll watch that game. If that score holds up, they know how big this game is for them as far as the BCS standings are concerned. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Gatewood from the two, and he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. The defense was able to keep them out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. Fires that quickly, incomplete. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. Zips it to the back. Fires out to his receiver. He's to the 40. The Sooners taking their first time out of the half. 
from their own 41 yard line. First down. Gets it. He's in space. He's tackled right around the 48 yard line. Oklahoma's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They'll bring him down at the 44. Brad, I think offensive coordinators spend more time focusing on two areas for an offense. Third down conversions and red zone offense. Right now, this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing in their third downs. That's the second time they've been able to get a first down in this drive since on third down. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. That brings him second and five. With the pass incomplete. It's the ninth play of the drive. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. And down he goes around the 17-yard line. I love to see this quarterback respond when this offense really needs him to pick him up. Your quarterback's performance on third down is vital to your team's success. Looks for his running back incomplete. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. We've reached halftime, and we couldn't have asked for a better first half. 14-6, Wildcats. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Both of these defenses are opportunistic and very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They have enforced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively. How about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to create, not to give away any turnovers. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. He's got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 29. The offense will take the field, and they've been moving the ball very well on their last couple of drives. Kansas State is up by eight. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And they finally make the stop at the 41-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From the 41-yard line, it's first down.
Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. Makes the catch and look out, out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. I really like going to the tight end here on third down. It's not even about the defense not expecting it, because I think they did. It's about mismatches. He's probably bigger and stronger than the guy who's trying to cover it. Has some daylight. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Kansas State. that was oh i'll tell you what this kid is incredible he's got the moves the speed the power he's the total package he splits the uprights with the extra point let's get the latest now from reese davis let's get you up to date on what's happening in some games with major bcs implications We've been watching this thing all day long. And for Nebraska, a win today gives them nine wins on the season. And for Mosley, he's got a touchdown pass in this one. The Cornhuskers lead 14-13, nearing the midway point. Elsewhere, guns up, Texas Tech doing battle in Lubbock. Let's take yet another peek at this game. And for Texas Tech, their defense is swarming and ripping and stripping, and they get the ball loose and take it in for a touchdown. The Red Raiders are out front, 21-14. It's 21-6 here. They line up to kick this one away. Number 22, He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 27. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. Only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Under heavy pressure. Quick throw to the tight end. He goes out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. Throws it, and he's got the tight end again. And he's taken down at the 50. third down here. On the throw, incomplete pass. And that will make it fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. Gets out to about the 31. Kansas State's built on their halftime lead here in the third quarter, Kirk. Well, I think they've done a really good job of finding some matchups to their advantage, and they've just gone after this defense, and it's allowed them to put up some points on the board. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. And he's 
tackled right away. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and nine. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Runs outside for a nice gain. Gain of five yards. First down. scrambling he's on the run and he's tackled around the 48 yard line Denman gets three yards on that scramble that'll make it second to seven it's second down seven to go ball on the 48 yard line Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's level at the 44-yard line. Gain of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. Larry, Larry, Larry. Hey, Mike, 20, Mike, 20. Got some open field. And they make the stop at the 33. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. That's a team of 13 yards on the ball. First down. Hudson comes in quarterback. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 19-yard line. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Tackle at about the 11. That makes it second and two. Here's the eighth play of the series. The Wildcats quarterback down there on the sideline. He was injured earlier. He means so much to this team. And right now, it looks like he's maybe going to be able to get back in the game. Doesn't look like he's in that much pain, so we'll hope so. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Dumps it across the middle, caught for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Let's have a look at some scores from around the country. Several surprises today. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. The Jayhawks continuing to pound the rock on the ground and score a touchdown. Skinner's snack for hitting the hole has been most beneficial as he's found the end zone. Every punch has been counterpunched. A 21-21 tie. This one's 28 to 6 here. Kansas State lines up for the kickoff. Number 22, back deep to return. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 29 yard line. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Throws complete. He's hit right away. Caught open field. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 40-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Tackle made at 
the 45. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good looking ball carrier. Out of bounds around the 43 yard line. So at the end of three, the Wildcats lead 28 6. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Gets it out to him again. Brought down right around the 30. Caught with room to work. He's tackled at the 22-yard line. That makes it second and two. Quick pass, and they'll get him in the backfield. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. in the middle a huge play and now they're in a great position to score they'll bring him down at the four Two-yard line. Two yards. That makes it 30 goal. Larry, Larry, Larry. Hey, check back, check back, back six, back six. If you don't get this one, you think you won't get this? Check two. Check three, check three, check three. Check two. Pitches back. And he tackles him hard at the two. No gain. That brings us fourth and goal. So the offense will stay on the field. It's fourth down from the two. Open receiver drops. And that was a big stop defensively. Yeah, they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive. Great job by the defense to shut them down. I can't argue the play call. The defense just did their job by standing their ground. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Less than three minutes in the game. We've got a safety. The defense saw their opportunity. They got penetration and never really gave them a chance to get out of the end zone.
He's tackled at the 46-yard line. The Sooners have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Complete. He's got room. And he hits him hard at the 32-yard line. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. Yeah, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. He scrambled. Good tackle there in space. Game of two on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. He's scrambling, heading for the corner. He's at the 20. Touchdown, Sooners. When a quarterback beats you with the pass, you can live with it. But when you're surrendering this kind of run on a scramble, you need to wake your guys up. the extra point a four play 46 yard drive and they come away with seven points and down he goes at the 45 yard line The last drive not only failed to produce points, but it cost them two. The defense is going to be coming out here on the field thinking they have their opponent's number. So somebody from this offense will have to show them something to get them to respect what they can do. Oklahoma is going to use their first time out of the half here. That brings them second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the 40-yard line. Good outside run there. That was a good play by the halfback. Picked up about five yards on the option. Oklahoma will have one timeout remaining. Just over two minutes in the game. And they get nice yardage on that run. Brad, I think they're showing a lot of confidence in this running back. Here's third down and medium. In some cases, you might be thinking that the offense would want to pass, but instead they give it to their back, and he shows that they're not wrong in being able to pick up that first down. Nice run to the outside. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings him second and five. From the 25-yard line, second down. Down he goes around the 17 yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. First down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. So that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, Kansas State 28, Oklahoma 15. And the Oklahoma Sooners.
For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.